Hey LCR, here I am in the youth room and I'm um, relaxing on one of the couches before Jamie begins her programming tonight. And it's just a reminder that she has found a way to um, do both virtual and in-person learning, kind of a hybrid model, which we're gonna see in a lot of our schools. And in fact, um, we just got word this week from the high schools that Huntington Beach is planning on opening their high schools November 2nd or 3rd. So if the infection rates of COVID-19, which currently are just around 96% negative tests, at least for the tests that are taken, um, then we're continuing to head in the right direction and hopefully we'll see that in the church too. But of course, if it goes the other way, then we uh, move in that direction. It's just a reminder that no matter what happens, we're closely following all the health directives from the county and making our choices and behavior uh, accordingly. So I wanted to let you know, you're gonna see a survey in the email and also at worship on Sunday and Reformation Day is sort of our big day where we celebrate what Christ has done for us and the freedom of the gospel. And we were thinking of doing an LCR version of Medieval Times where we would do a, a church dinner and um, have it be outside and have some medieval things like a little Renaissance ensemble and maybe some fake jousting on the lawn and stuff like that, um, but plan it in such a way that people could feel safe. Um, so that could include doing a seating for vulnerable people where things were especially safe and then doing a seating for families or something like that. Um, so we're thinking through all the options, but we just wanted to know if you would be uh, even interested in attending so we can decide whether to do it or not. That would be November 1st at 3 p.m. And um, please fill out the survey and let us know if that's something you would even consider um, or if now is not the right time. I did say in my message last week, I talked to you a little bit about the church's finances. So the church is doing really well itself uh, because of your generosity. So thank you for your generosity. Um, we are currently over budget right now by a few thousand dollars. And um, our Good Sam Fund is very well populated because of your generosity. And I just want to thank you for that. The area of concern that we're looking at right now is our school, just because normally they catch up at the end of the year. And... Um, the time they catch up is when they shut down. So we do have a grant into Orange County for nonprofits specifically that provide childcare and early education for $45,000. And we haven't heard back yet. Uh, we have confirmed with the supervisor's office that they have the app, um, but we have not heard yet on whether we get it. If we get that application between the grant and PPP, the school will actually be zeroed out for the year, uh, in fact, months ahead of schedule. If not, um, then we will make a plan to make sure that the school stays liquid, um, that we're not going to get to any point of danger, and if we need to do some fundraising, we will. So currently, that's going to be our big focus as the leadership is just making sure that we support the school. You know, classes have reopened. Um, we have families for as many as the state will allow. We have that many students, and uh, Cassie and her team are doing a great job. So right now, we're feeling pretty good. Um, we are looking at the school and uh, if we get that grant, then we're going to be ahead of schedule. If we don't, then we'll make plans to make sure that everything's okay. The church council has put the renovation on hold right now, just so we can make sure that we get through all of this intact before we start looking at tackling new projects. So that's kind of the update, and uh, greetings from the youth room, and thank you for your faithfulness. And we'll see you on Wednesday afternoon, or we'll see you on Sunday morning. We'll see you on Zoom. We'll see you via text. We'll see you over the phone. Uh, lots of different ways to connect, and I'm just grateful for all God's doing uh, through you and through our faith in life together.